If you are a reading fan, then you must be familiar with the feeling that overcomes when you read too much fiction, that at the end of the day, those books are very far from reality. On the other hand, reading true crime books keeps giving you that reality check and a glimpse into the real world. People often wonder, why would anybody want to read true crime books? Well, even though they are not your average off-the-shelf novel, there is a charm to true crime books. Not only do those books make it possible to learn about cases in an interesting way instead of reading old newspaper clippings, but they can be captivating too. From murders and kidnapping to narcotics, these books are about every crime known to mankind, and not on a small level, but sometimes those crimes are on levels that we cannot even comprehend. So if you wish to spend your days and nights reading such books, I've got some of the best recommendations for you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. My Dark Places by James L. Roy The author James L. Roy wrote quite a few novels in his life, but what he is known for the most is his peculiar writing style. Combine that with the dark humor of the man, and you have got an amazing book for yourself. The book, My Dark Places, is among the best work of the author. When James was a 10-year-old child, his mother was taken, raped, and murdered. The body was found by some kids, but the case of her murder was never solved. Years after her death, James decided to pursue the cold case of his mother's murder. He hired a detective and teamed up with him to solve the case that was the biggest nightmare of his life, but the rest of the world had forgotten all about it. This book does not only show the investigative side of the author's journey to find his mother's killer along with the detective, but it is also a memoir. Number 9. Midnight in Mexico by Alfredo Corchado Before we talk about the book, let me say a few words about the author. Alfredo Corchado was a journalist in the early years of his profession and is now working in the Dallas Morning News as the Mexico City Bureau Chief. Everyone knows the booming drug business in Mexico, but when you are a journalist, you get to see things from a very closer angle. Alfredo Corchado covered the murders in Juarez, the drug cartels, and the corruption of the Mexican government. Despite receiving a death threat, he did not leave the country like others. Instead, he went out to inspect the threat in the countryside of Mexico. Midnight in Mexico is about the journey of the journalist who went up against the people who were threatening his life. Instead of bucking in fear, this Mexican-American journalist decided to do his job bravely, which is to find the truth and report it to the world. Number 8. Lost Girls, An Unsolved American Mystery by Robert Kolker from writing for New York Magazine to working as an investigative reporter, Robert Kolker has devoted many years of his life to the field of journalism. He has written three books, one of which we are going to discuss today. Lost Girls is one of the best true crime books to read on days when you are tired of reading about fiction and need a dose of reality, even if it is quite ugly. This book covers the investigative journey of Robert the serial killer that had been haunting the streets of Long Island. When a prostitute disappears from the street, it does not make the news and after a while, the police end their search. However, seven months after Shannon's disappearance, four bodies are found, each separately covered in burlap. The only thing common between the five disappearances was that they were all escorts who had published their ads on Craigslist. Despite five women disappearing in the same pattern, their killer is still at large. This book gives a very harsh reality check. Number 7. The Grim Sleeper by Christine Polisic. Christine Polisic has been working with People's Magazine for quite a long time, and the woman is an award-winning journalist. Her book The Grim Sleeper is one of the best true crime books of all time. Christine started following a case of murder in the first few years of her career, not knowing she was unwrapping a bigger picture. A dead body of a woman was found dumped in the streets of LA, and when Christine pursued her case, she discovered many other bodies that were killed and dumped in a similar fashion. The book covers her investigation as she discovered dozens of bodies of women murdered in lay, the killing going as back as 20 years. Christine gave the serial killer the name of the Grim Sleeper as took long intervals between targeting his victims. Despite dozens of women getting murdered, the local police still never found the killer. Christine followed the killer for almost a decade, yet never had a clue about his identity. Number 6. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote the name of Truman Capote is among one of the best authors thanks to his famous work, Breakfast at Tiffany's. However, the man also loved writing true crime, which shows us his book In Cold Blood is quite famous even today. In Cold Blood is a great true crime book, which is about the murder of a family in Kansas. In November 1959, on a gloomy evening, 
a family of four, was found to be murdered brutally. The police never found the murderer or even a motive behind the murders, but after years of following the case, Truman was able to identify the killer. In this book, he saved his entire investigation of the murders and how he found the murderers, Dick Kickock and Perry Smith. What makes this book an interesting read is that it also shares the entire trial of the two killers. Truman's way of storytelling will make it possible for you to finish this entire book in a single sitting. Number 5. Killers of the Flower Moon by David Graham The name of David Graham has popped up with all kinds of topics from presidential campaigns to true crime. This author has also secured many awards for his amazing books. He has a way of storytelling that keeps the reader hooked to his books. Killers of the Flower Moon is one of the many books David has written. This book narrates the story of the murders of the Osage family, who were one of the richest families in America. One by one, multiple members of the family were murdered in different ways, and the strangest part was, every detective or officer who got the case would also be found murdered a couple of days later. When all hope was lost, the local authorities asked for the help of a Texas ranger named Tom White and gave him the case. His investigation led Tom to discover a giant conspiracy that had people coming after him to finish him off as well. This book is not any true crime, but it will give you a peek into one of the worst chains of murders in American history. Number 4. I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara and Gillian Flynn Mostly known for her blog True Crime Diary, Michelle McNamara also wrote many true crime books in her life. The co-author of the book, Gillian Flynn, is famous for her best-selling novel Gone Girl. I'll Be Gone in the Dark is a project of this too that is a result of months of effort. The book, I'll Be Gone in the Dark is about a serial killer who sexually assaulted more than 50 women in almost a decade in northern parts of California and also committed 10 murders in Southern California. Yet the police never found him. Three decades after his disappearance, Michelle started investigating the case and pulled out all the police records to find the serial killer. The investigation of Michelle led her to find a pattern in all the murders. The killer always chose suburban families or a mask and murdered them in their house at night. In the middle of her investigation, Michelle was murdered under mysterious circumstances. After Michelle's murder, this book was completed and published with the efforts of Gillian Flynn, Michelle's husband, and Michelle's lead researcher. Number 3. Helter Skelter by Vincent Bugliosi and Kurt Gentry Vincent Bugliosi is an American attorney and author who is famous for the prosecution of Charles Manson. He wrote one of the best true crime books of all time along with his co-author, Kurt Gentry, who was also an American writer. The first thing that makes the book, Helter Skelter different from other true crime books, is that it is written by someone who had a front row seat to the entire ordeal. The book is about Charlie Manson, who murdered actress Shannon Tate, Lino, and Rosemary Lebianca, and many other young women. Manson had the help of his four followers in these murders. The book covers the motive of Manson behind the murders, but most importantly, it shows how he had a hold over his followers who assisted him in murdering people without a question. Being the prosecuting attorney of the Charlie Manson trial, the author has narrated the entire trial, verdict, as well as prosecution of Manson in this book. Number 2. Missoula, Rape in the Justice System in a College Town by John Krakauer The author, John Krakauer, has made quite a name for himself in the nonfiction genre. The man has written and published a wide number of nonfiction books. Aside from his writing, he is known for his love for mountaineering. When the students of the University of California became victims of sexual assault, they turned to the police and local authorities for help. However, over the span of four years from 2008 to 2012, more than 350 sexual assault cases piled up, and only a fraction of them was properly handled by the authorities of the town of Montana. The book Missoula covers the story of those assault victims and the aftermath of their assault. It shows that the fear and misery that they were put through did not end after the rape, but it was only the beginning. The treatment of police, prosecutors, and the public to the few who reported led to a large number of victims not even reporting their cases. The way John documented and penned down the pain of those women really moves a person. Number 1. The Stranger Beside Me, Ted Bundy by Ann Rule Having worked in the police, Ann Rule had a love for law enforcement. The woman also had a way with words which led to her writing one of the best true crime books of our time, The Stranger Beside Me. However, what makes this book a great read is that it is the tale of Anne herself. The Stranger Beside Me is not a book by an author writing about murders that happened over a decade ago. Instead, this book is about Anne conducting research on the murders of Ted Bundy, 
while the killer was still unidentified by the authorities. At the time, Anne was working at a crisis hotline in Seattle as a volunteer, and her co-worker was none other than Ted Bundy himself, but Anne had no clue that he was the man behind the murders she was investigating. But over the months that followed, it became clear to Anne that Bundy was not the sensitive co-worker. She thought he was but was responsible for the murder of 36 women. This book shares how he was captured and also narrates his entire trial. I am sure you discovered many true crime books that you had never even heard of in the list that I just shared with you. Trust me, they are all worth your time, so pick any one of these 10, kick your feet up, and enjoy reading. If this video helped you find the next book you are going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the books mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.